Hello everyone, 안녕하세요. My name is Jung Yoo Choi and I'm from South Korea. I am a mother of two kids, six and seven, and I'm also a dentist. I was the youth ambassador for World Vision in 1998, representing South Korea. How has your 2020 been? Has it been tough? Are you nervous? What is your situation like? I want to hear your stories. Please share your thoughts, your moments, what you went through. We are now entering six months of COVID-19 here in Korea. It's already September 1st. And nobody had thought that we would encounter this pandemic, but nobody had thought that it would go on this long. We still don't know when this will end. Will it ever end? I started my YouTube channel exactly on March 1st, 2020. Korea was one of the first countries to go through this COVID-19. I'm sure you, are, you heard a lot about South Korea through the news. When I started my YouTube channel telling my foreign friends about my situation, they thought like it was not their story. It would never hit them. But after two weeks, it was their stories, not just mine. I told them, schools might shut down, so prepare a little crafts or little things that you can do with your kids at home. Stores might, you know, not be opened. So prepare little things beforehand, like sanitizers, especially masks. And the word social distancing was never out in other nations besides our country and China. But now it's just everywhere and everybody is being part of this all together. Not one person is left out. I don't want to hear stories from politicians or celebrities. I want to hear your stories, your daily lives. How is this affecting you? How are you getting prepared? I have started a relay of interviews from all around the world and I've already done two interviews, one from Australia and one from Ohio, United States. Brad Rees is a professor at Tiffin University and he has shared stories about how his family is doing or even about his dog. That barking was never a problem before a pandemic, but now it is when it's giving online courses. Same with me. When I'm giving a lecture, I hear my kids talking with my husband, running around, and then if I had to shut the door and I would start knocking and looking for mom. Never would have been a problem before a pandemic, but now it is. I didn't know that schools would be closed for this long. I never thought that students would never be able to go to school. Let's learn from each other. If you have kids who are in senior class or junior class, you have to start preparing that they might not be able to go to universities within one or two years. And dormitories are not going to be as popular as it used to be. I don't know if we should really make dormitories anymore. Or, you know, Buildings are now being constructed with, with eyesight. You know, if you enter the building and they would scan you through your eyesight without touching. And if you have a temperature above a certain uh, number, like let's say 37.5, they won't let you in. Like elevators, you won't be pressing in a couple of years. A lot of things have changed. I'm sure many people have not seen their friends or families if you are living abroad. My kids can't go out in the playground as often as they visit. 
I've never been abroad. I've never been on the plane this year. A lot of things are very tough on us right now, but I've already learned so much from my touring of youth, as I've mentioned earlier. Bessie from Australia, she said, let's be conscious, have empathy and be present during a virtual meeting. Brad said we could dream bigger because we have no limits and try to seek life's common ground virtually. Let's do that. Seek life's common ground, be more engaged, be as active as we could to try to spread the warmth of humans through this technology. How would you educate your kids from now? What we learned yesterday won't be a matter tomorrow. Learn from other countries, learn from other cultures, from ordinary people for, on daily basis. Let's please share your thoughts, your ideas, what you went through for six months. It's time to reflect and to keep moving forward, but how? So this is what I want to bring in, real human stories. Stay tuned because more are coming up from India, Sweden, Florida, and many more. If you want to be participating in my interviews because you have small stories or big stories or some great ideas that you want to share, leave comments, press like. Those proactive support really pushed me forward and I'm sure it's going to push other people forward. I hope we could really be one together at this time. If you need a friend, and if you're going through a difficulty psychologically, you can email me, J-U-N-G-Y-O-O-98 at gmail.com. Please subscribe. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. Kamsamida.